शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय series called chair yoga. Chair yoga is kind of like a common idea of practicing yoga while sitting on a chair. Um, it's on one hand created from physiotherapists for people who don't like to sit on the ground or have restricted mobility. Um, all these um, tiny postures on, and poses we're gonna do on a chair it has the same benefit as if you kind of like do athletic postures on the ground as you may see sometimes we do it on a chair and we're gonna have a lot of benefits because we are training our spine our arms our shoulder then we're gonna build up or support our sense of balance and let's say do all the postures, do all the movements I give you an idea of in your personal horizon. So where your edge is, where you cannot go any further, it's perfect where you are. There's no best, best posture, right? The best posture is when you find your personal end of stretch or a personal end of opening, a personal end of moving. Remain there, doesn't matter how far it is, even when it's only a millimeter. Yeah? When there's yet the border or the edge of your personal stretching moment, this is benefit. When you can hold that moment a moment, this is your personal benefit. And it's what we do here, it's for you. So, um, the next thing is, um, we, um, this, all this one hour of chair yoga comes from different workshops and trainings I did the last 10 years and I saw fantastic results with people with Parkinson. I saw, I heard very good results from people with osteoporosis. So if you are not sure if you can do some movements, ask your doctor before, but we don't do any harmful things, but depending on your personal individual condition, please ask your physiotherapist or your doctor or another health professional if this, um, these 15 movements and poses are good for you, okay for you. And if you have any questions, make a photo, send it to me or you can mail me, you can send a comment, I'm gonna contact you and we could also go through it via Skype in an individual tutorial if you want. So please let me know. And if you like all this or dislike all this, tell me. Best thing would be if you also subscribe on my channel, you find it right under your screen, the red button. Follow me, it would be nice, thank you. And if you wanna donate some, some money to keep all these free yoga classes alive, there's also a PayPal button. Uh, on the channel and if you don't find the paper button write me or you can read it in all the the classes uh, Informations you also find to every video there are different Descriptions for every class and you find a lot of videos already at YouTube, but now we start with chair yoga First I can really recommend take off your socks Yeah, even if you don't like that Take off your socks and see if we have not a stone ground. If you have a stone ground, okay, keep your socks on, but try to remove your socks because your toes are a bit better freely moving when there's no cloth around, right? Find a good chair. The chair is 
should be stable. You should not, maybe not sitting on a chair with rolls. So office chair is not so good here because it's a bit too slippery. So you need a chair, you know the chair, that your legs can stand upright with a normal angle. Hmm? So you don't have to have the feet towards the chair and you don't have the feet away from you. So the feet, the ankles are below your knees. So your calves and your shins go right down to your feet. And you have a tiny gap between your knees. And what the next very important thing is, don't sit back on the chair, except you can't sit differently, yes? But if you can sit differently on your chair, try to push yourself to the middle of the chair and let's say go as far to the brim, to the front brim of your chair, that you still sit stable and the chair is not dangerously moving, whatever, yeah? You should not fall to the front, yeah? So if you sit, the chair must be stable, your feet are on the ground, when you look down you see your toes, you can put your hands on your knees and try to sit a bit upright, but not too much effort. Just try to sit upright, but not to stretch. Yeah? You have your hands on your knees, feet on the ground, and at first shake your legs, your knees a bit. Shake them to the right and left. You can also move your body a bit, but just a bit. And then try to find the center point of your sitting posture. Where's your center point? Try to let your legs and your body find the center point. And if you found the center point, close your eyes and start with body awareness. Start to go in your mind into your toes. Start with the feet. Go into the big toe, onto the pinky toe. Just say hello. As like as if you are a boss and walking in your big factory and saying hello to all the workers and co-workers and colleagues. So you pass by realize oh my toe hello then you go through your heel hello heel thanks for working by the way then you go through your legs your knees then you go through your hip your belly through your chest then you walk along the shoulders and shoulder blades, through the arms, into the hands and fingers. Don't forget to say hello. And then you drive back through your arms until your neck. Then you crawl up the spine vertebra by vertebra until you reach a hat and in the hat you walk through your brain ending at your forehead say hello to your forehead and maybe tell your forehead as well it can relax then you slowly slip down your forehead until you reach your nose until you reach the end tip of your nose and remain there for a while and then see what's going on with the tip of your nose when you inhale and when you exhale see what happens when you inhale and exhale. 
Then go on in your own pace and try to breathe through your nose. Try to make a complete exhalation and a full inhalation. And don't lose your focal point, that is the tip of your nose, realizing the breath getting into the nostrils. And when you exhale, out of the nostrils. And inhale again through the nostrils and out again. Go on in your own pace and try to just watch the wind that comes in and out of your nose. If you cannot breathe through your nose, no problem. Open your lips slightly that you still hear and feel the breath passing your, the tiny gap between your lips. And do the same as you would do with your nostrils. Watch your watch the wind that go through the tiny gap between your lips into the body. And when you exhale, out of the body. So you just watch the tiny spot here above your lip. And you feel the wind, the temperature, the speed, and the length of your Breathe of your breath. And after the next exhalation, you can slowly look, open your eyes, and we are back. Hello, I hope you like this tiny autogenic training. I do it sometimes on my bike, sometimes when I lie in bed, just to bring my thoughts together and just be fine with yourself as you are at the right moment. Just say, say hello to everything. Just say hello to your body because your body and you, your friends, just show it sometimes to your body. We start very easy now with head movements. After the head movements, we go to the neck, and the shoulders, the chest, the belly, the hip, and the legs. And all we do very slow and very focused and try to go deep into the movements. I keep my hands on my knees and try to lift yourself upright a bit. See how straight you can sit. See. Try to prevent the curved back, however you do that. So try to stretch yourself a bit up. Remind yourself you're sitting on the brim of a chair, so be safe. With the next exhalation, you drop the head to the chest. And with the next inhalation, you extend your chin to the ceiling until you look maybe to the ceiling. When you exhale, your chin and your head drops back to the chest. Inhale, extend the chin to the ceiling as far you can do that. And when you exhale, head down. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. And go on in your own pace. Try to combine breathing and movement. Full exhalation when chin hits, hits the chest. Full inhalation when the head is in a full back pose. Go very slow and try to also slow down your breathing, if you can do that. Try to synchronize the movement and the breathing. And we come back to the center. 
Now we turn the head to the right and the left and we try to keep the same carefulness, concentration and focus with breathing and movement into this really tiny, very simple, on the other hand, very effective movements. We start with the exhalation, turning the head to the right. Look over, over your right shoulder. And with the inhalation, turn the head to the left. Exhalation, turn the head to the right. Inhalation, head to the left. And go on your own pace and try only to move your head. Don't move your shoulders, don't move your hip. And try to keep your eyes always in the same height. And as well, think of breathing and moving hand in hand to synchronize it when you do this turning hats. And we are back in center. And the last one, we now do something for our neck and throat. So sit upright again, remember, we usually sink back because the chair has this back of a chair, it's much easier to sit here. But then we are very pressed here in our chest point. And we can open it to breathe properly and feel a bit uplifted and your neck is uplifted. It's much easier for the posture sitting upright if you can. With the next exhalation, you just drop your right ear on your right shoulder. With the inhalation, your head drops on the other shoulder, left ear, left shoulder. Exhalation, right ear, right shoulder. Don't lift your shoulders, just your head. Shoulders are relaxed, hanging down. Back is upright. Go in your own pace. Right ear, right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. And never forget, even if you can only move an inch or half an inch or a millimeter your head, when this is the end of your stretching neck, fine, it's your benefit. Just do micro movements. If these micro movements are all you can do, fantastic. Congratulations, you found your own edge. That's very fine. And after the next exhalation, come back to the center. And if you want, you can shake the head slightly, just a bit. And now I let my, I take my hands off my knees and let my arms hang right and left of my chair. But don't sink back. Try to sit upright. I always remind you because I'm usually, usually when nobody reminds me, my back is curving because it's most comfortable. But try to keep it upright. Arms are hanging right and left side of my hip and of my chair. If you feel fine, if not, keep the hands on your lap. Yeah? If you can let your arms hang here, let them hang. Let the shoulders hang. And then with the next inhalation, shrug your shoulders, bring the shoulders up to your ears. Very up, 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 up. And when you exhale, slowly let your shoulders sink, sink and press them down to the ground. Inhaling, shoulders up again to the ears. 
and exhale slowly shoulders want to go down to the ground and go on your own pace when you inhale shoulders up as much as possible when you exhale shoulders are down go as well very slowly shoulders up shoulders down don't rush take your breath in one hand Take your shoulders in the other hand and go with them together through this movement of shoulder flexibility. Now the left thing you can imagine what we do we bring the shoulders to the front shoulders up to the ears shoulders back shoulders down shoulders to the front shoulders up to the ears shoulders back and shoulders to the front shoulders up shoulders back shoulders down try also to move your arms if you can, when the, when, the, when the shoulders are back, also open your arms in my direction. So try to bring your elbows together behind your back. Shoulders back, shoulders down to the front, shoulders up to the ear. And now you see my elbows getting almost together behind my back. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but my elbows pointing to each other on my back and then the shoulders go down shoulders go to the front shoulders go up to the ear shoulders go back and down go on at your own pace and try also to to combine it with your inhalation and exhalation when shoulders are to the front and if you want also move your chest a bit yeah shoulders back chest out shoulders to the front chest in and if the shoulders are back change direction shoulders up to the ears shoulders to the front shoulders down shoulders back shoulders up to the ears shoulders front shoulders down last time shoulders back shoulders up shoulders ears shoulders front shoulders down and exhale maybe with a sound like this and let yourself sink a bit on the chair lift again and now we move everything freestyle we move our head we move our neck and our shoulders and you can start with everything just not too much just move your shoulders your head and your neck and if you want just like turn everything in all directions maybe you hear a sound of your bones or you hear a sound of your ligaments or muscles whatever moves do when it feels fine and do it slowlier or reduce when it's not feeling fine yeah this is kind of like should feel good If you close your eyes for a moment and put your hands back on your knees sitting with upright just finishing the first part of our chair yoga session today just close your eyes and see how your neck and your shoulders your arms and your hat feeling right now do you feel a bit more free a bit softer it was perfect what you did if you feel a bit tight it can happen do a bit less next time 
Maybe you overdid one or the other posture. You're gonna find out. There was no harm, but sometimes we need step by step and you can decide however the feedback of your body is, right? So this was the upper part of, of our body. We go a bit lower now. We go to the chest, the back and the belly. And it's also very easy, the posture. Sit back on the front brim of your chair, where there's still stability, but it's easier, easier for you to sit upright. Let's see it here better. So, legs are not at the chair, legs are not away from you. The same posture as we did before, because it's the most stable posture we have. Split screen. So now, Try to find the seat of your chair slightly behind you. Not where your hip is, slightly behind. When you can hold the seat of your chair, very good, and you feel still safe, very good. Don't keep your knees too close. Keep a tiny gap between your feet and your knees. Hold yourself on the back of your seat. <clears throat> and with the next exhalation, just like curve the back back, just like make a round back. When you inhale, lift your body and push your belly to the front and your chest out. Inhale, shoulders go back, chest out. Exhale, shoulders fall to the front and you have a tiny curve back. Inhale again, push the belly out, chest out, arms go back, shoulders go back. Exhale, round back. Inhale, chest out, shoulders back. Exhale, curved back. And go on at your own pace. And the same thing as before. Keep breathing and movement together. And really push when you inhale your chest out your belly out and bring your shoulders back shoulders back chest out and when you exhale let everything drop drop to the front and go on in your own pace and try to enjoy that feeling and yoga it's called cat and dog on a chair you can do it in table pose on the ground you can do it in several postures, but always on a chair. And try to remain concentrated on your body, on your movement. Keep or find your own pace in this movement as well. center. Cool. How was it? It's usually a very energizing and waking up posture because it's really moving your spine back and forth. It gives you a lot of heat coming up and activity. <clears throat> now depending again on your individual choice if you sit fine on your chair or if you can also move a bit on your chair. Let's start with the other side. I bring my hip as much as far on the right side of my chair. I remain at the more or less the half front of my chair and, my pu and I push my hip as far to the right side of my chair, but it's still you see that? But it's still stable. So my chair is not falling to the side and is not shaking. Make sure that it is. Yeah? If it's too shaky, go a bit back to the center. But if you can sit on the out, right outside brim of your chair without 
your chair moving, then slowly open your right knee to the right side. As far as you can do that, as far you can open your legs. Now my left knee is looking to the front and my right knee is looking to the right. So front knee on 12 o'clock, right knee on 3 o'clock. If your right knee is on 2 o'clock, it's fine. If your right knee is on 1 o'clock, fine. Just see how far your right knee can go to the right. Hmm? And hold yourself on both the, the knees. See if your chair is still stable. You can also hold with your left hand the left side of your chair if you feel better. And then slowly stretch your right leg to the right. And if you can go, let's say, a couple of inches, fine. But try to go as far away with your right leg to the right. The heel still is on the ground, so no leg stretches, right? You cannot see it here, and you cannot see it here. If you can stretch your leg, try to do that. Shake your foot a bit. Heel is on the ground. Leg is as far stretched as possible. And shake your foot a bit. So my back is still up, my left leg is still stable on the ground and my right leg is stretched out to the right side and I'm shaking it a bit. So and if it's still good and you sit stable and you can also use your left hand, do that. Put the left hand on your left knee, right hand on your right knee, right leg is as far stretched as, as I like. Then I bring my left arm up, up, up to the ceiling if I can do that. Let's see how it looks here. Stretch up your arm as high as possible. Try to hit your left arm, should hit your ear or in this direction. And if you feel fine, bend a bit to your right stretch leg, just a bit. Hmm? And inhale on this left open side. And even if your arm is here or here, no problem. Even if you only move an inch, fine. Yeah, go see as, as high you can get your left arm to the ceiling and when you exhale let your body drop on the right leg and inhale and exhale in this posture and slowly drop your left arm hold yourself on a chair take your right leg grab under your right knee and bring the leg back to the center how was it? And put the chair in this direction. I sit myself on the chair properly. And then slowly I have my both hands on my knees. And slowly my left leg, my left knee walks to the left. And don't forget to put your hip a bit further to the left direction. So as far on the left brim of the chair you can sit and front. But remember, chair must be stable. And then open your leg a bit more to the left. Bring the left knee more to the left direction. And now I have my right knee 12 o'clock, my left knee on 9 o'clock. If your left knee is on 10 o'clock, fine. If your left knee is on 11 o'clock, fine. If you hit 9 o'clock, try it. Hmm? Usually it works. So you can hold yourself on the chair here. 
behind you and slowly walk away with your left foot until maybe your leg is stretched. Try it. If your leg is not stretched, no problem. But try to walk away with your heel to the left. Maybe your leg is stretched. If you feel safe on your chair, you can get rid of your arms and still sit properly. Very good. Drop your left hand on the left leg. If it's stretched or not, doesn't matter. Then with the next inhalation, lift your right arm up to the ceiling. Try to get as close as possible to your ear. Stretch yourself up to the ceiling. And when you exhale, let your body drop to the left side, to the stretched left leg. And remain where your edge is. If you feel a stretch already, keep it there and inhale into the right chest, into the right armpit and keep it a moment and use your inhalation and exhalation to get deeper into, into the posture and really enjoy it and really put air in your chest, push it in. And when you exhale, slowly drop your right arm on your right knee. Grab with your left hand under your left knee and pull your leg back to the center. Very good. How was it? That was an intense leg stretches, right? And when the legs are back in the center, shake it. Also shake your legs very much that you feel your thighs wobbling from the right to the left and your calves. If you have some, I mean, even my calves are shaking, I see. And I'm back in the center. Come back on the brim of your chair, then you can sit upright. With the next inhalation, we bring our both arms up to the ceiling and exhalation, arms down. Again, inhalation, arms to the ceiling. Exhalation, arms down. And when you inhale, try to not to lift your arms in front of your knees. Try to lift your arms behind you as far you can. Yeah. Try to bring your arms behind you when you inhale and let your arms drop behind you as well. Yeah. Try to, even when it's here as your arm, no problem, but always think of your arms should be behind your ears or behind your shoulders. But wherever you are, there's your edge and you train yourself into this posture. And now when you inhale, lift your arms. You can also look up to the ceiling. And when you exhale, drop your arms. You can dr drop your head. Inhale, inhale, arms up. Look up. Exhale, arms down, look down. And go on your own pace three times more. And bring the breathing and movement together. And arms down, head down, relax. And now the last thing we do now in this position, we do a twist. A twist is kind of like very important that you bring your back in an upright position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, you turn to the right, but only with your shoulders, turn to the right and let your arms drop on the right side. So my left hand hits my right knee, my right hand hits my left hip and uh, my right hip. Other, other direction, sitting upright. Inhale, arms up, turn to the center, turn to the left, exhale, arms drop to the left. Now my right hand hits my left knee, my left hand hits my left hip. Back. Inhale, arms up, come to the center. 
Exhale, turn to the right and let your arms drop to the right. Inhale, arms up, turn to the center. Exhale, turn to the left, arms drop to the left. Inhale, arms up, turn to the center. Exhale, turn right, arms drop to the right. Inhale, arms up to the center. Exhale, left, arms drop to the left. And go on your own pace. And you inhale, arms are up and you're turning. And when you exhale, arms dropping. When you inhale, arms up, turning. When you exhale, arms drop. Just go on your own pace. Tiny twists. And when you're back in the center, remain in the center and let your arms drop. Shake your legs, maybe your shoulders and your arms and your hat. And the next pose, we want to keep the chair, but we want to stand up. If you're not made for standing up, we find a solution to do this posture without getting up. I show you afterwards. But everybody who can stand up from a chair, stand up from the chair. And go behind the chair. We do a dog pose on the back of the chair. Everybody knows a dog pose. Dog pose on the ground, hands, feet, and then you have kind of like an A shape. Uh, we are not on the ground today. So what we do, we have our chair, we take the back of the chair, yeah, lean slightly on the back of the chair, not too much. See if the chair is stable and not slipping away, right? And then you walk slowly back, keep the hands on the back of the chair, and slow, walk slowly back until you can't go any further because the chair would move. So what you can do is kind of like, Stay here, you think, okay, next thing is instability. Inhale, and when you exhale, try to let your body drop through your arms. Yeah? Imagine your arms are straight, and try to let your chest and your head drop through your arms to the floor. But you hold on your chair. Yeah? Inhale, come a bit up. And when you exhale, let your chest drop the direction of the ground. And if you are fine here, remain here a bit. Inhale and exhale into this posture. You have a very good back stretch now. And you are stable because you hold the back of your chair. And stay there as long as you like. People who want to go a bit further, but not be on the ground, can do the same thing on the seat of the chair, right? Slowly lift your head and walk foot by foot back into the direction of your chair. And slowly come up again. Hold the back of your chair and stand upright. And if you have some water, have a sip of water. I have to check my script. The next thing is we do in a standing pose together with the chair is the tree pose. The tree pose is balancing pose. The tree pose is very good for people with osteoporosis in, in the ankles, in the hip, for example, or in the leg bones. Very often it is in the, in the ankles of the feet. So we do this posture is a specialized for osteoporosis people, specialized for people with a loose hip, and specialized for everybody, let's say. So everybody will, should do this tiny correction in yoga, and even good yogis should do that.
but hardly anybody is doing it because they don't need to. We start with having the chair on the left side, having my hand on the back of the chair, just to stabilize myself. I can always remove my hand if I feel safe, but if I don't feel safe, keep the hand on the chair. It has the same effect, the same benefit for your bones as if you are freestanding. The freestanding is just kind of like a skill for your mind. If you have Parkinson, for example, this balancing thing is very important. So always try, if you feel safe, to remove your hand from the chair, to give you the chance to automatically shift to the center and keep your sense of where you are in space stable and train it. So what we do is kind of like we concentrate on our right leg and we have the hand, the left hand on the chair. The right leg is the standing leg. So I go a bit away from my chair so that I can still grab it, but not, not standing with my left thigh on the chair. So I go as far away from my chair as I feel stable and safe. Right leg is a standing leg. Okay, what I do with my left leg, I turn my left leg out. So my left foot is looking into the direction of the chair and my right foot is looking in my direction. Now I lift my the heel of my left foot, toes remain on the ground and put the heel against the heel of my other foot. So my toes are still standing on the ground, left heel is hitting right heel, no left heel is hitting right ankle, sorry. So toes on the ground, left heel is lifted, left heel hits the ankle of my right foot, it's leaning on it. Yeah? And I put my right hand in my right hip and now I flex my right hip. This one, my right hip, the hip of my standing leg, flex it. Yeah? Flex it. What happens is now my right hip is really turning to the right because my left foot is slightly lifted. So I flex my right hip and I'm standing upright. Hmm? This no good, this good. So flexing the right hip, flexing the hip of the standing leg is very important. Here my, my butt on the right side is very hard, it's very flexed. Everybody with osteoporosis and loose hips always remember that. If you're in tree pose, if you're on a one leg balancing pose, don't let the hip just like lose out to the right end or left end. Hmm? Standing leg hip flexing. It's straightening your body and it's compressing, compressing the bones here with the muscles you are flexing and this is very good against or for osteoporosis. Flex it here, heel leaning against the ankle of your right foot and if you still feel safe bring the right arm to the ceiling to the ear as we did before when we sat on the chair inhale and when you exhale bend to the to the left direction to the chair don't forget to keep your arm as far behind or close to your ear as possible. Keep the right hip flexed and then bend over through the chair. Keep the right, keep the hip of the standing leg very flexed so the hip is not turning to the side, right? Keep it flexed and try to bring the arm as far over your head as possible. Exhale and inhale in this posture as well. If you can get rid of your hand, do that. You can put this, the left hand in your left hip. If you're still stable, or you grab the chair. And when you exhale, slowly come back with your arm. 
drop your right arm and bring your left foot in my direction as well and shake your your knees and your legs a bit just shake it and do the other side and just put the chair over because it's easier for you otherwise I'm talking to the wall so you can just like do how, how you like it again I'm walking away from the chair that I still can grab it but I need a bigger gap between my right thigh and the back of the chair. So hold the back of the chair and walk as far away from the chair as you like and as, you, as, as if you still feel safe. Put the left hand into your left hip. Turn your right foot out in the direction of the chair. And now slowly lift your right heel and remain with your toes on the ground. And your lifted right heel, lead it against the ankle of your left foot of the standing leg. Hold the leg of the chair. And now you see what usually happens. The hip of the standing leg is turning out. The hip is kind of like losing, losing control. So I'm flexing now the left side of my booty. You see the difference is here, not, no benefit, nothing is happening. It's even pressed on the right side and your hip is kind of like anywhere. No muscles are built up here, but we want to build up muscles. So we have to compress these joints here and build up a muscle in our butts as well to keep us walking and, and safe. So, really engage your left hip until you stand straight as possible. Keep it engaged. Yeah? Don't let your butt loose. Keep it engaged. If you still feel safe, slowly with inhalation, stretch your left arm up. Stretch your left arm up and with the exhalation, bend yourself over to the chair and don't lose this tight, left hip don't let it drop right keep it up so flex your left butt bring your arm over your head and inhale and exhale to the left side of your body inhale and exhale in the left body keep the left hip flexed keep the left hip engaged if you want to get rid of your hand from the chair lift it and put it in your, in your hip Hold a moment and bring your arm back to the chair and exhale, drop your arm. This was a tree pose. The same benefit if you do it right. Concentrate on the posture and always think of your, on your hips. And whenever you have standing poses, keep your hip flexed and keep your booty really engaged. Yeah? Don't let it drop, keep it engaged. And just to, to kind of like massage or give our hip a tiny relaxation pose, I always, after this pose, after single leg standing, give the standing leg a really, really relaxing moment with, put the left hand on the back of your chair, keep the same distance as you did for the tree pose, Lift your left leg slightly and then just let your leg swing like a pendulum back and forth. Hold yourself on the chair, let your leg drop and let it swing back and forth. And try to let it really hang in your head. And come back to the center. Do the other leg as well. Keep a distance between the chair, back of the chair, and your hip and your neck. And then lift the right hip a bit. And let your right leg swing back and forth between the back of your chair and your left leg. Let it swing. 
And maybe you can also kind of like let it really swing. Don't hold it. Don't hold the leg. Let it freely swing back and forth. And slowly come back. So this was the entire body from the head to the feet, back, chest, belly, and we started with a, with a tiny concentration, a journey through the body, and we finish with it. So I invite you, if you're still fine with standing, keep standing. If you want to sit, sit down on the chair again. It's both fine. So if you want to keep standing, you should stand behind your chair, hold the back of your chair, and whenever you feel safe, you can always bring the hands on the hip or one hand on the hip, or you just, just let your fingertips drop on the back of the chair. Open your toes and put down all the toes on the ground. Flex your hip again, flex your booty. And press the feet in the ground. Try to press the entire soles of your feet into the ground. So the same thing is if you sit on a chair now, do exactly the same thing. Bring the feet, the soles of your feet, big and bright on the ground. Try to make as much space between your toes as possible. And try to press the entire sole of your feet into the ground. So your feet feel much bigger and more stable. Then you have your legs engaged and your booty and your head. It's a very stable ground. Because you don't move, you just stand. Stand right, it's not easy, I know. So when your fingers drop on the back of your chair, and if you're safe, close your eyes. Keep the legs and the booty engaged. Then close your eyes. And start again. In your feet. Say hello again to your toes. Big toe. Pink toe. Sole. And heel. Say hello to your calves, your shins. Say hello to your knees and kneecaps. Say hello to your thighs and hips. Say hello to your belly and chest. Hello back, hello spine, hello vertebras, hello shoulder blades, hello shoulders, hello arms, wrists, hands and fingers. Hello neck, hello head, hello face, hello nose, and hello my breathing. And remain at your nose or at your lips again as we begin. And try to realize how the wind feels now that goes through your nostrils into your body when you inhale. And how the wind feels when you exhale. How cold is the wind when you inhale? And how cold is the wind when you exhale? 
try to only concentrate, try to focus the wind that is passing your tip of your nose or your lips. See where the breathing gets in and where the breath goes out. Try to focus exactly the point where your breath passes. Maybe you can also realize if one nostril is transporting a bit, bit more air than the other one. Doesn't matter why, just realize it. And if your mind wanders away, just take it back, set it back to the point of observation on your lips or at the tip of your nose. And let yourself sink into your breathing rhythm, into your body, into your mind. Keep on breathing your own pace, still watching the incoming and outgoing air. And if you like, go on doing so. Do ever this when you feel stressed, do this when you want to concentrate, do this when you need contact with yourself, if you need contact with your breathing, if you feel anxiety, if you, whatever. I do this all the time when I feel insecure. I do this when my mind is kind of like going in all directions and I feel distracted, if I cannot focus, if I have the feeling I lose ground, I do this. This is a tiny, tiny autogenic training leading to meditation. That's one way. A steady concentration without pressure, without judging, and without any goal at all. So easy as it sounds. So how is this? Yes, oh, thank you for joining this first chair series. If you missed anything, if you have questions, problems, ideas, whatever, uh, you can always reach us via the comment section here under the video or via email. You find the email in our channel descriptions. Please subscribe if you like that, and even if you dislike that, subscribe. Give your friends, your mothers and fathers this video, because this can help, this can support people who never did yoga, but can sit on a chair and still move. It helps, it helps a lot. Hope to see you soon. We do a lot more chair yoga series. We do some relaxation shows. We have already, we have a breathing relaxation show. So switch on our channel, enjoy if you like, and if you want to, if you have a euro or dollar left, you can donate us via our PayPal account, and we promise you we will stay here and give you free yoga teachings and tutorials in all directions. Enjoy the evening, and see you soon. Bye bye. Om Namah Shivaya